Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kylie. I'm an author, author tuber, voice actress, audiobook narrator, and professional nerd plus mom. So today's video, I want to take you through how I am setting up my Q4 goals for the last quarter of the year and what those look like. You can see my new backdrop is very autumnal and I am super happy with how it came out. Um, I absolutely love the fall. I am a fall baby. I wasn't born in the fall, but I mean, I was a spring baby, but I love fall. Like I go out all out. Like I have sweater dresses and sweaters galore and leggings and I live in them as soon as I possibly can, even if that means <laughs> I have to turn the thermostat down to pretend that it's fall because I live in Texas where it's hot until October. But today's video, we are going to be talking about Q4 and what I am doing going forward. Um, so Q3 is still not over yet. I have two weeks left in this quarter to kind of wrap everything up. And I do have some very pressing things that need to be finished. I have to finish writing a blurb for my third novella, getting together with my cover artist for that blurb to put on the novella, and also getting together with a promo company to come up with a cover reveal date and a release date. And then once that is done, all I have to do is the audiobooks for it, and it will be out there. Other than that, I'm pretty, pretty free, which is really exciting because I am using Preptober to make my series Bible for Claymore, get into the weeds of that and really just tighten this thing up for the final time for publishing, not next year, but in 2023. Um, so that's like the biggest thing. And the next biggest thing would be to rebrand my legend series finish the last four covers that I have to get rebranded and relaunch those as well as finish the audiobooks for them. And then there's my science fiction fantasy book that I really want to work on in the background of all of that. And yeah, just kind of expand my horizons a little. So I'm using Sarah Cannon's goal setting sheets that she has for the quarter. I print them out quarterly. So this is currently Q4 and I'm just looking at it in retrospect, like overall. And now that the quarter is drawing nearer, I am getting into the flow of really honing in and delegating my time the new system my husband and I are working on for time management with a newborn is not newborn. He's six months now. I can't believe it is really working in our favor. So we will continue to use that. Um, and yeah, <laughs> I am going to start going over and explaining what I want and what I hope for. This quarter is going to be a little bit lighter than most because it's all about tightening up the loose ends. It's all about getting down to the nitty gritty of Claymore and really focusing on what I've learned from reading craft books, from taking, Brian, from taking Brian and Sanderson's course again, and from just putting everything together and realizing what good writing is versus what great writing is and what good description and good verse and good voice and good prose and everything like that. So it's time to really, you know, it's time to really put the big girl pants on and just do it the right way and know what needs to be done. And that takes a little more time. It takes a little bit more 
patience, um, but I think it will be rewarded in the end. So let's get going on what this quarter is going to hopefully look like along with um, clearing my Kanban board because the majority of the things that are still up on that Kanban board are things that can come down and be put back up for Q4. So all of those yellow things up there, that's all Claymore. So that all has to come down and be reorganized and stuff for that. And the things that are still on the to-do list in the to-do section are currently being worked on. So let's get into it. So this is currently where I am right now for my September wrap up. I need to write the blurb for novella three. I need to get the cover reveal and the release date together with my promo company. And then I need to finalize the cover art with my cover artist, Amanda, and get the paperback proof before the release date. So these are the three pressing things that have to happen within the next two weeks. Um, these are also some things to do for September and um, some of these have gotten completed, like I formatted my book and obviously you can see I still have to work on some of these. This is currently done, this is currently being worked on as well as this one will be worked on next week. And I'm working on this video right now. I've done my autumn decor video and uh, yeah, so a lot of these are these are sheets that Sarah Cannon has that are amazing. So this is all things that I have gone through, what I need to do, what I should do, what I want to do. And then the time estimator is really good, but I haven't really looked at working it yet because working from home as a creative, time is subjective. And sometimes I can't really put things down 100%. So I do know that on this day, there is a video that is scheduled already and it is the autumn decor vlog. And Monday, the 4th of October, will be Q4 goals in Kanban board video, which is the one I'm currently working on right now. So every Monday and Friday, I want to have a YouTube video to put up and pre-schedule. Um, I'm coming out with an audio series that's going to be announced, that has been already been announced, showing the ins and the outs of audiobooks for authors and narrators alike. So that's gonna be really fun. Um, I'm also gonna call this Preptober. And this is Nano Rimo month. So that's just to keep me reminding me, hey, this is Preptober, um, which will include the Claymore series Bible, probably one day a week, and then the audio uh, video another day of the week. And then we'll get into Nano Rimo, hopefully working on Claymore. Now, I haven't really done much in the vein of, well, I guess I have as I turn the page of working on gold and stuff. So I have a basic idea of what I'm going to be doing for goals, obviously for Claymore, finishing Recovering Legend, and obviously the audio that I want to get done for myself. Then obviously there's audio that I do for work full time. And then there is the um, videos that I do. This video is already out so I can take this off there. It's not already out, it's already scheduled. So I've really gotten interested in using, utilizing YouTube's scheduling, pre-scheduling. That way it's just out of my way and I I don't really have to deal with it anymore. So brainstorm potential goals for Q4. Obviously audio work that is mine, writing, YouTube, that sort of thing. I'm 
I'm still currently working on and I will do more brainstorming because this is the first part of this video. Um, I wanted to give myself an intro and a good time frame and a good head start to think on what exactly I want to do for Q4. So in the meantime, let's go clear off the Kanban board. So this is my Kanban board. And like I said, all of these are gonna go onto Q4. So we're just gonna do a little bit of clearing off, reorganizing because these stickies have been on for a while and they're starting to fall off. So let's go ahead and pull them off. is clean off and I kept the ongoing things to put in here to remind myself yeah this is what I'm still this is what I'm still working on this is what I'm still meeting to do um so yeah these are the things that I still have to put on to Q4 so I wanted to keep those um but yeah we're getting a start we're getting somewhere and hopefully in a couple of days, I will have brainstormed a really good Q4 goal list broken down into tasks that I can easily accomplish and feel like I'm making super progress on. So I will see you in the future. It's future me here. So I have had a couple of days. I have brainstormed what needs to happen the goals that need to be put in place and I have written them down on my brainstorming potential goals for Q4. I have my handy dandy group of different colored sticky notes and there's a dark pink, a light pink, a dark blue and a lighter blue and then a greenish color and then yellow. So we'll see how well these stack up against each other. Um, I'm going to write those down. I have also planned my week, which is today is Monday. And oh my goodness, is it ever a Monday? This morning was a little bit chaotic. We took my son to a six month checkup and everything is great just to get three shots. So it was a little bit on the rough side for the little guy. Also just super, super random. I have these flameless candles that I have set up in my office corner for like autumnal Halloween-y haunted vibes um, because I just love this time of year. And they were only $10 at Hobby Lobby and I really like them. This one likes to be stubborn. Like you have to really push it up, but they were 50% off, so I got them for like $5. So they kind of helped set the mood. So as I said, we are going to be going over Q4 Kanban board, and we're gonna be writing those out and putting them up on the Kanban board. And also I wanted to quickly let you guys know, this is not sponsored by any way, shape or form. But I currently have no nails on, so I painted my nails black just to give them a little bit of a breather because I have been, I had a press on nails on for about a week and a half. Um, but I use Impress press on manicures. And like I said, this is not sponsored, but they have their Halloween line out. And these are the ones I think I'm going to do first. So the box, ignore the box. It was just shoved into my box here at the apartment complex. And I was like, ah, oh, no. So these are like autumnal. They're shorter. These are what I'm going to probably put on either today or tomorrow. They're super cute. Then I got these rosy gold pink bats with spider webs with little diamonds on them. 
that'll probably be like the first couple of weeks in October. And then for the spoopier part of October, I have Halloween haunted house nails. Now both of these apparently glow in the dark. I'm super excited. I'll let you know how that goes. But I wear Impress Manicure. They have the, the ones that have the gel back. However, I just buy regular glue from Target or Walmart or Walgreens. And I put a dot of glue on my nail and then I just take off the strip, the protective strip, and then put the nail on. So it's like extra glue down. And it, I can wear these for a week to two weeks. I do sometimes have to reapply since I do have a baby, so my nails are pretty knocked around, but they stick back on really, really easily. And for only like six, seven bucks, I can get two rounds out of them. So there is enough variation in the size that I can actually use these twice. So the fall nails that I had on a couple of weeks ago um, were actually my fall nails, the ones with the plaid um, that I was wearing. I wore those last fall and I had enough left over to do another set. So I will have two of these so um, I can save them for next year and get a different style later. Nails aside, I have my flickering candles on, I have everything up up here, I have my ambient noise for fall down on my laptop, so let's get started. Um, getting things ready for Q4. So shout out to Calmed by Nature. Love your stuff. It's amazing. I'm currently listening to it. Right now it's paused for copyright purposes. But yeah, this is the setup, guys. We are good to go for Q4. Those are my candles. They're so cute. So I have everything ready to go up and we are going to fill this puppy in for Q4. There you have it. That's my Q4 Kanban board. Last quarter of the season, um, or for the year, I should say. Um, there's a lot of writing tasks on there. There's a lot of plotting tasks. There's a lot of a lot of video ideas. So um, YouTube and writing is pretty heavy. Audiobooks is pretty much the same. Um, and on the more business front, it's pretty light. So yeah, Q4 is coming in 10 days. It is September 20th while I'm recording this part of the video. So I feel really good. I feel relieved that it's out of the way. This video is done. I can already put something down for my Kanban board and schedule it for um, the first Monday of October. And yeah, things are just chugging along. <laughs> If you like this kind of content, give me a like, leave a comment down below of what you are doing for Q4. If anything, how are you prepping for Preptober? Are you prepping for NaNoWriMo? What are you doing for NaNoWriMo? I know that I've said that I'm gonna be working on Claymore. I'm probably gonna be working on two projects. I'm gonna be working on a series Bible for Claymore and prep for Preptober. Working on Claymore one, two, and three during NaNo and possibly plotting another novel in the background. So it hasn't been a traditional nano at all this year, which is totally fine. 
but we are just gonna work with it and hopefully we don't have burnout by the time December hits. So for me to you guys, one love.